Okay, so I glue my patches on before I sew them. I use this craft bond, it's like a tacky glue and it's washable. I glue just in the center and I make sure I stay away from the holes because you don't want to have any glue when you're trying to stitch the thread through. I'm going to glue it along one of these columns of the knit stitches. So you're going to make sure that you line it up parallel with um, one of the knit stitch columns that are the, the vertical ones. And you just kind of line it up along the center of the stitch there. Or this, you know, row of stitches. And then when you lay it down, you want to make sure that it's going along a row as well. Okay, about 20 minutes or so, your um, glue is going to be dry and you can now sew on um, stitch around the patch. So, the way I stitch them on is I just kind of start, I don't usually start in the corner, I start kind of on the middle. And I'm not really sure what you call this, but I go back, you'll just have to see, and I make sure that I'm stitching along that center of the um, knit stitch column there. And then I am going to always make sure that I'm inserting on the same side. So either if you're on the left or the right, I'm going to make sure the insert on to the left, it just kind of makes the stitches look more even. And then you want to make sure that you're going in between like the bars of the column here. And uh, that's going to make it so that when you're being a stretch that it doesn't distort the stitches really weird. And I'm just going to do this all the way around until I get back to um, the beginning. Uh, this is a double lined, or it's a lined beanie, so I make sure that I'm stitching only through the top layer so you won't see any of the stitches on the back side. And then I just continue to go around. And um, for my string, it's kind of short, so I'm going to pick up the yarn on the other side and then I'm just going to go ahead and stitch it back around to meet on that other point so that if your string isn't long enough, um, you can just kind of meet around on the other side. and just stitch in the same way. Okay, now I'm back at the spot where I left off. I'm going to pull my string through um, the back side and I'm going to do that with both strings and I'm going to make sure that they both come out through the same spot so that when I tie my knot I can pull it through and it'll stay in between the two layers of the um, fabric. And now you have a pretty cute little newborn thingy with the patch. You can see when I stretch the stitches they don't distort too much. And now your beanie is ready to be given as a gift or sold.